clinical anatomy. So you must know where are all the structures, all the organs, all the glands of the face. Of course, uh, without uh, doing uh, the dissection. We work uh, with uh, cover skies. And so we can't uh, know exactly where are the apples. But the knowledge around uh, the structures, anatomical structures of the face, is anyway fundamental. The patient uh, is uh, in uh, Frankfurt Plain uh, when uh, we study him uh, for uh, pictures and so on. Always Frankfurt Plain, the plane from tragus uh, to the inferior orbital bone. This plane, uh, when you take pictures, when you take movies, uh, when you study your patient, uh, must be horizontal. Here, just uh, in front of the ear, you have uh, the uh, parotidal gland that is a very huge gland that you have here and here below you have uh, the uh, mandibular uh, and the salivary glands. On a line from tragus to superior lip just in the middle you have uh, the very famous uh, Stenson's duct that is uh, just in the middle. When uh, you inject uh, maybe botulinum toxin for masseter and so on you must pay great attention to this. Ischemical problems uh, are uh, very dangerous uh, during our injections with fillers. No. So, no, the knowledge around the arteries is also very important. Here, just in front uh, of the ear, we have uh, the very famous temporal artery. And temporal artery will divide in uh, frontal and the parietal around uh, where there is uh, the ear. You check where is uh, the angle of the mandible. Just in front, uh, you palpate uh, a little, uh, a little uh, dimple in the bone, and here passes uh, the facial artery. Facial artery has uh, a lot of. Uh, different patterns. Uh, this is the most common but uh, uh, gives uh, the uh, angular artery, the nasal lateral artery, the superior labial, inferior labial, sometimes also near the lip. So this area is uh, a dangerous area where we must pay attention. Normally the facial artery passes a little bit lateral to the nasal labial fold but uh, it is not said. So, anyway, uh, the use of cannula in this area is uh, uh, very important to avoid uh, problems. Here you can see many times uh, the angular vein, uh, very visible in many patients, and uh, here below you find the uh, facial vein that goes down straight uh, until uh, the little dimple that we said before uh, on the mandible. Also this area, all uh, this area is uh, very dangerous and so as always I strongly suggest you to avoid the use of needles but to use only cannulas and uh, please uh, thick cannulas. Don't use uh, normal cannulas, uh, 27 gauge or 30 gauge that is very dangerous. I have in my clinic only 25 gauge and 22 gauge for 70, 25 gauge for 50 and 20 to 7, 22 gauge for uh, 7 centimeters, that is the best. Finally I want uh, to remember you the main uh, nerves of the face. Uh, here you have uh, the, the uh, facial nerve that is around here and divides in five branches. Normally we remember the very famous song Tiny Zebras Burn More Calories that probably you remember with the five branches of the facial nerve. So uh, Tiny for temporal, Zebras for zygomatic, Burn for buccal, more for mandibular and uh, 
cervical as a calories. The periocular area, we have many nerves, it is a very dangerous area again. Uh, here you have uh, the supraorbital, here you have uh, the supratrochlear nerve, here in the middle you have the infratrochlear nerve, here the very famous uh, infraorbital uh, nerve from the uh, homonym uh, same foramen, here you have the zygomatico temporal and here the zygomatico facial nerve. All the periocular area is a dangerous area. Here we will use only cannulas. I don't use needle, never. I use only 25 gauge cannula or 22 gauge, but in the periocular area the best is 25 gauge for 50 millimeters.